My name is Peyton Yonke. I'm a junior here at South Dakota State University. I grew up just south here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And ever since I was a kid, I hunted. Uh, my dad taught me how to, how to hunt and fish. Um, but what really got me into waterfowl hunting was uh, the guys around me. Not only was it my dad uh, that uh, instilled uh, the hunting, uh, hunting into me, but it was also uh, the buddies who were grinding on the weekends uh, looking for birds and then also hunting birds, um, whether it was during the weekday if we had time. Um, but that's what really instilled waterfowl in me was also uh, the people around me who were just fun to hang out with and uh, wanted to have a good time rather than just shooting limits. And so uh, this year, what we're kind of like focusing on is not, not just the limit, because I feel like uh, with limits and everything, it just doesn't make it fun, it makes it stressful. And the fact of just like hanging out with your friends, enjoying um, just the, the creation uh, out here and just uh, how, how great of an opportunity that we have here in South Dakota with all uh, the migrations that come through in uh, early October, late November when we get the big cold snaps. Um, but the big reason why I'm here at South Dakota State, it's not only just because of waterfowl hunting, it's uh, the fact of we need to um, understand how important our natural resources is. And so with conservation planning and land management, we were, were able to um, manage those resources in a manner um, that actually affects the generations to come and that they can actually experience what I experienced with my dad instilling hunting into me. And then also they can hang out with their friends, go out and uh, hunt, not, not the same birds, but also they can experience the migration that we experience um, in maybe a, a bigger, uh, bigger fashion. Yeah, there's honkers. Those are mostly big ducks. Those are all big ducks, bro. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, like it's like it's all big ducks. Like at this time, like there's like no water here in north in like northeastern South Dakota, and then you roll up on this, and then you literally see every yeah. duck. Yeah. Every early season same. duck, you see yeah. gadwall spoonies. Yeah. Like, I would say there's at least no joke. There's probably a thousand birds on there. Yeah. So I yeah. think this is that's just this area too. There's probably more. Well, there's to the south. What's nice though, it might mix bag hunt with honkers because there's there's like probably I'd say 20 or so honkers out there. What's up everybody, Derek with Campus Waterfowl here. We made it to South Dakota State University. It is the opening weekend of duck season in South Dakota. And I actually put it up to vote on our Instagram page because uh, this weekend is opening weekend in Minnesota and South Dakota and you guys picked for us to come here. So uh, I felt it was appropriate to come back to my alma mater, uh, South Dakota State University and hunt with some other students. We just are ch kind of checking out the spot that we're gonna be hunting tomorrow morning and it looks, how does it look guys? Juicy. Looks loaded. Dense. Action packed to say the yeah. least. It is, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. We'll try to zoom in here. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it is looking pretty good. It looks very promising for the morning, so we should have a good shoot for you guys. I figure about half of them are probably coots, at, on this side anyways. They might all be coots on this side, but it looks like there's teal ones. There's white-bellied ducks. There's spoons. Hey, Will, fight. My crocs are in there. There's too many names for ducks. Too many. Yeah, but there's, yeah. Uh, Some gad daddies. There's a white truck over there just looking. Where? Over there across the way. But yeah, you put on a boat on there tomorrow and get out there. Yeah. You'd be good. I think we should still try and get out pretty early though. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about for brushing up the boat. Yeah, we can do that. Because um, I I don't know if you want to do it now or when. Either that or we're just going gung ho. It's a great photo, you guys. <laughs> Are you thinking we hunt that over there? Oh yeah. That point. I think I think we definitely go back over there and hunt that Which that point? north side on the right. Well, no, I on the right. We can put two guys on that point, but then I think we bring the boat over there. We don't even have to hunt out of the boat. Is the thing. What yeah, we could no, that's do, what I'm saying. We could anchor we did, it away. What we then. did down on the river on the Missouri yeah. is we went and we parked the boat 
yeah. then we wouldn't even hunt out of the boat. We'd yeah. just go park it somewhere. We yeah. definitely could do that. Yep. So I think that we should do. We'll set up on that sandbar yeah, out there. Yeah, let's do that, though. We, put up, then we don't right have to on, mess Right with on the, this right side, yeah. Don't have to mess with the yeah, blind yeah. at all. Right there. Then, you could put like a dozen, a dozen of those, dozen of those silhouettes, yep. and then make the some silhouettes, the loop, loop the decoys, and they'll they'll buckle right in. Yeah, yeah. That'd perfect. Be good. perfect.